And you brought up a, something I wanted to touch on too. You mentioned traditional banks and I've, I've seen on the Twitters and whatnot, people are saying, well, you know, if quantum computing becomes this thing that can crack Bitcoin, why wouldn't it just be able to crack traditional finance first? And is that because of what you mentioned that, you know, JP Morgan, you know, Jamie Dimon could issue an initiative, they could act on it quickly, but because of the open source nature of Bitcoin, it'd be a lot more challenging to update the network to defend itself against quantum computing? Right, I, I think that's one thing. And another thing is that, uh, you know, like for some wallets, uh, we don't know like who that wallet belongs to. So there's a, certain sense of anonymity compared to uh, traditional banks. Like even if you steal something from traditional banks, I think like with a centralized um, database on who had what, um, like uh, some like history of what, what, what happened, I think it's reasonable to think that one can like restore the funds somehow. But with Bitcoin, obviously this is just not gonna be possible. So uh, that I, I would say that's another uh, potential issue.